first up, we've got Move. Good evening. A few years ago, I was a fresh-faced university student that had never lived away from home before. Fast forward to my first student property and I came home to find the place flooded. The thing is, there are over four and a half million renters in the UK spending a combined 87 billion pounds, yet really they have no idea what their next property will be like. The whole process of finding and living in rental accommodation is, is arduous at best and disastrous at worst. This is where MOVE comes in. MOVE simplifies the entire rental process, enabling a tenant to find, sign and manage the entire process of living in that property. People are loving what we're doing. Last month, we soft launched our MVP and in just two weeks, we collected data on 9.2% of student houses. Imagine what we could do in a full month. We've been featured in the tab, student, uh, student publication, Wales Online and many others. And the, and the largest landlord association are interested in licensing our technology. I'm Seb Walker, the CEO, and I'm a student, biz, uh, student startup advisor, and I'm joined by my COO, who I've worked with on projects for over six years, and a CTO that previously built and exited a prop tech business proper. Together, we've built up a team of 10 who are championing us through our pre-seed round, where we've currently raised £200,000, or approximately two thirds of our pre-seed round. Join us today with MOVE in reinventing how we find housing. Solid pitch. What, what's the plan to scale this up across the country and beyond that? What's the playbook to go from city to city? Because I think you're in Cardiff at the moment. Aren't we you? are in Cardiff, yeah, exactly. So we observed our competitors quite closely and what they're doing. And one of the failures that we feel they made was they said, OK, we've nailed one city, let's go national. And we totally think that's the wrong way to do it. Each city has their own kind of niche. In some cities, there are more letting agents, there are more individual landlords. So we make sure that we conquer each city and we have the data to really fully understand that before we enter that market. Now, for our first five cities, that means really heavily con uh, concentrated student populations where we can hit them with direct in-person marketing. Now, when we get down to London and the Southeast, it's so hard to do that because students are spread out across a huge city. So then it's all about digital marketing and making sure we have the data on are there more individual landlords or are students and renters in general going through letting agents and spare room? So it's, it's really about having that data to make sure that we can hit that. Um, and in terms of kind of scaling that strategy, it's about having kind of boots on the ground and having, having a really solid marketing strategy. Um, what's your revenue model? How are you guys um, making money from this? Just curious, out of curiosity, it seems like a lot of data, and a lot of work <laughs> and a lot of um, good ideas to improve student housing, but where's the money? Yeah, so we have a three-tier revenue model. The first of that is we can monetize students. So one of the great things about Move is it simplifies and automates your entire process. That includes your bills. So when a student or any renter comes to our platform and wants to sign up for their property, um, they can also sort and automate their bills and we collect an admin fee of around £1.50 per person per month for that. We also monetize landlords and letting agents. So in the same way that they might go on to write, move and Zoopla and look for a property, a landlord or an agent is paying to be on there. They will pay to be on our platform because we're connecting them with those renters. How big do you think this could get in five years? What's your sort of own internal goal? Well, <laughs> it's a huge, huge market. I mean, over uh, globally, we're talking about a value of $180 billion. Um, in the UK alone, it's worth around £400 million. If we can capture 1% of that in five years, we'll be really happy. Thank you. Um, the, the landlords really need this. I, I live in a really studenty area, actually, and um, it seems like all the good houses, like everybody's clamoring for them. So it seems like it's kind of like a seller's market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's that's a really, really good observation. I think one of the things that we've observed um, over the last couple of years, I mean, we've been looking at the data really heavily to know when our entry point is and how exactly we're going to get those landlords and letting agents on board with what we're doing. Now, one of the key things that's kind of changing in the market is the number of landlords that are self-managing their properties. Mm -hmm. So we've gone from a market where the majority of landlords are using a letting agent and paying them and forgetting and sort of running off into the sunset. Um, now they're actually being a lot more hands-on and that's primarily or one of the reasons we think is because of all the kind of tax implications that have changed and the margins have become a lot more narrower. 
So something like 39% to 43% of landlords have gone from self using an agent to self-managing in, in a quarter. Um, we think our, our platform gives them that kind of uh, platform, I suppose, to actually manage their relationships directly with students and not necessarily have to rely on those letting agents. Thanks. Yeah. What's the biggest challenge you've encountered so far? Um, I think because we are providing tenants with a lot more data than is already out there, that can ruffle a few feathers from landlords. Um, we made sure that we, when we built this, we actually built this with landlords on board. I'm a landlord myself as well. So we wanted to make sure that we were actually providing value at both ends of that, of that kind of sector. And for, and for us, that means actually we can also provide landlords with um, information such as, oh, your new tenant who's interested in signing this property, now they're a student, they don't have a credit score, or if they do, it's rubbish because they're 18 years old. What we can actually tell you is they've paid their rent on time in their uh, halls of residence, they pay their bills on time, they've never been evicted, they've never had, let's say, a noise complaint, maybe they've, you know, they've had a few parties but not too many, for example. So we can actually provide other data to landlords that they otherwise wouldn't have um, to, to kind of combat that, and I think that's how we're getting past that, one of those big hurdles. Thank you.